Hey everyone, Chell here with Prismatic Powders, and today we're going to talk about something that is quite annoying. The spitting and surging that can occur from powder feed problems. You know the scenario. You're knee deep into your project and it's all going fine until your gun spits a clump of powder onto your part. Spitting, surging, burping, puffing, whatever you want to call it, it is annoying because now you've got concentrated heavy globs of powder on your project and then of course you've got to delicately blow that area off and hope it doesn't happen again. Instead of hoping that it doesn't happen again, let's determine what could be going on and how to fix it. But first, like, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. But anyway, there's a few common culprits that can contribute to this problem. The first culprit I'll talk about is buildup of powder around the electrode. This is a thing and powder will build up around the electrode. And when you get a buildup of powder on the electrode, every now and then as your air and powder mix flow past the buildup, it gets pushed loose and it hits your part in a clump. Now there are several reasons why the buildup can happen and some powders such as metallics tend to collect on the electrode more than others. But what can you do? Now some guns have a purge trigger just for this reason. So you want to make sure you're taking advantage of that. The purge will simply push clean air past the electrode to clear the buildup. So if you got a purge trigger, Make sure you use it periodically to clear potential buildup, especially when you know you're working with powder that is prone to collect. Just make sure you're pointed away from your parts when you use it. If you don't have this option on your gun, you can simply tap the gun tip periodically and then pull the trigger away from your parts. This is going to knock loose any powder that has collected and then you'll be clearing any clumps out while you're pointed away from your parts. I will summarize the next culprit as inconsistent flow, and then I'll break it down a bit. When you have inconsistent flow, instead of a nice aerated mixture of air and powder, you get a mixture of pockets of air and dense compacted powder somewhere in the powder pathway. Eventually an air pocket's going to push through an area of compacted powder, and then the gun spits these dense clumps onto your part. What you need to do is figure out what is creating it. Now here are some things to check. Atomizing air pressure. If the atomizing air pressure to your gun is too low, it's going to create a rich mixture and therefore potentially create compacted powder. So you simply need to increase your airflow by increasing the atomizing air pressure. Low fluidizer air pressure. If you use a fluidizer, it could be that your fluidizing air is too high or even too low. In either case, you're going to have an inconsistent feed of compacted powder that is transferred through the pickup tube, to the hose, to the gun, and onto your parts. So when setting your fluidizing air pressure, you need to look at how the powder is behaving in the fluidizer. It needs to percolate, but you want to simmer, not a boil. Powders that are denser may require more air and of course you'll need to look at the behavior of the powder in the fluidizer to know where to set it. If you know you're spraying a dense powder, then you may even try to spray one pound at a time. This will make it easier to fluidize properly. Another thing that can happen is related to the powder hose. Sometimes the hoses can get kinked or bound and this can also create a pocket of impacted powder. So the solution here is to assess whether your hoses are too long. Oftentimes hoses that are too long can get caught on things and get pinched and therefore you should trim the hoses to suit your spraying environment. If there's a bunch of excess there, just cut it off. It's not doing you any good. A longer hose may also need more air and powder mixed just to keep a consistent flow. The last culprit to discuss is humidity. Humidity is trouble and it is not compatible with powder. So you might live in a humid environment or maybe you just have a water or humidity problem in your airlines. Whatever the case may be, you need to do something to rectify this problem because humidity is going to cause your powder to clump and become denser. 
thus creating inconsistent flow through the powder pathway and possibly issues with your finish. Now, you should always be using a filter and regulator between your compressor and your powder controller to ensure that your inline air is clean and dry. And if you live in a humid environment, you should have a dehumidifier in the storage location for your powder. This is gonna be a big help, and if you can avoid it, don't leave boxes and bags of powder open and exposed to humidity any longer than you have to. Now that's gonna do it for this video. Feel free to comment below on what you do to mitigate surging. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.